So I didn't really plan on making this video, mostly because I was tired and lazy, but someone asked me to do it, so here I am. Let's get started. Before we get into these extremely convoluted plot lines, I have to explain to you why Shimmer can move this fast. Shimmer is able to move this fast because of two factors, the Adola Burst and the Adola Link. The Adola Burst is a sacred primordial Genesis flame that comes from the world of Adola. It's almighty flame that very few wield, and it is the power source of the Amaterasu power plant that powers all of the Tokyo Empire. The Adola Link, on the other hand, is a sensation that occurs when someone experiences a connection to the world of Adola, someone else with the Adola Burst or personally connects to the preacher. These two factors allow for someone to gain an extremely strong power up. So I recently did a video of me explaining Sho's power. So if you want to check out the full thing, I recommend watching that video because I'm going to explain his power again in this video, but I won't go as in depth. Sho is able to slow down time through Hubble's law, the theory of relativity, and thermal expansion. Sho uses his ignition ability to steal the heat from the surrounding universe, cooling the universe, and making the speed of expansion decrease. Since Sho is cooling the area around him, he is slowing down the time around him. Now for Shinra. The reason Shinra is able to slow down time with his light speed, much like his younger brother Sho, is because of the theory of relativity. The theory says that time is relative to a person's speed and place in time. The faster an object is moving, the slower time moves around that object. For example, if you had a twin brother that loved to travel a lot, and this brother spends a lot of his years on planes while you spend most of your years on the ground, your brother will have aged slower than you, and vice versa because of your relative speed to the earth and his relative speed to the earth. Your brother was moving at higher speeds most of his life, so therefore it slowed down his time of aging. And this part pretty much kind of explains how Shimmer can move at light speed. But now, for this next part, I'm going to explain how he goes beyond the speed of light. When you go beyond a certain speed, in this case it will be the speed of light, the body cannot withstand the shock and force that the speed is putting on the body. Because of this, Shimmer's body disintegrates into microscopic particles. Shimmer's accelerating himself to light speed and stops time. His body breaks down into particles from the shock of that speed. Since his particles are still traveling, he can reach an even faster speed exceeding the speed of light. While in his dead state of particles, his particles can continue to accelerate going beyond the speed of light, causing time to run backwards. When Shinra exceeds the speed of light, time turns back, reverting his body back to an original state. But however, his position in space has been moved. However, in the manga, it also states that because of his grace, Shinra can command his particleized state to put his body back together. But now that I'm looking at it, I think it's because Lit said that in the beginning of the fight, because he couldn't explain what Shimmer was doing. So that was mostly his theory on what was going on. And then I look at the other chapters down the road. I think Lit finally got it. And he fully understand and put it together. But Shimmer can essentially skip to certain places in time. By disintegrating and reintegrating his body. So the man can pretty much time travel. Now I know what you all must be thinking. And yes you're absolutely right. This power is broken. But much like Sho's power. This does have limitations. The two limitations of this power are. One. You must connect to the preacher in order to obtain the grace to access this amount of power. And the second limitation is that if Shimmer's body overheats during this particleized state, he will die and not be able to put his body back together. Because his power will be nullified by his exhaustion of heat. But that's it for the video. It's going to be a short one. I just wanted to quickly explain his time traveling ability. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And once again, I had no idea this entire time what I've been talking about. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you.